Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl Black Cajun, and today I am coming with a special request tutorial. Someone requested in one uh, in a comment on another video to do a tutorial on, well, basically asking how to download fonts to your Silhouette Studio Design Studio. So that's what today's tutorial is going to be about. Just a, a basic tutorial on how to download fonts and uh, the two major sites that I get my fonts from is the font.com and 1001font.com so uh, what I'm going to do is go to the font.com and I, I need a script for a project that I'm working on so I'm going to look for a script that I don't have uh, I need something really pretty. Oh, this is cute. Uh, let's see what I love glitter. I think I have that one. Infinite stroke. Let's go with that one. So basically, what I'll do is hit download, and there's two ways. Once you download, load it. Once you hit download, you'll get this screen. And there's two ways in which you can actually save it to your computer. You can hit extract and it'll save it all at one time. Or you can go to each individual one of these and hit save. So it's best to just go ahead and hit extract and save it to where you want to save it. I want to, uh, what is it called again? Infinite stroke. Okay. So I'm just hit OK. I have a lot of things downloaded and my download folder is full. But let's see. I'm going to go to my folders. Go to my computer. Downloads. No, that's not it. Here you go. Downloads. I'm going to pull up all my downloads and I'm going to just type in the name of the font. Infinite stroke. As you can see, it's in a folder. They're all extracted. I'm gonna open it. I extracted it already, so you don't have to do all this. Let me make sure. Let me see. But when I hit install, and it should say that it's already there. Okay, it didn't say that. So you'll go to each one of these and install it. And click yes because of course you want it installed. And you have to make sure that your silhouette design uh, application or program or whatever, you have to make sure it's closed in order for these things to install in it. So don't have it open and let them install. Okay, so now that I have them all extracted and downloaded to my computer, I am going to open up. Uh, my silhouette studio. I hate these ads. I don't know what's causing these Google ads on my computer. I love this. I love glitter. It's awesome for like a uh, wood sign that you put at your front door, put your last name. Oh, this candle script is pretty too. I think I need to get this one as well. That'll make some cute birthday squad shirts. Hmm. It's a lot of new ones since the last time I've been on here. I was taking my Silhouette Studio a little minute to open up. Okay, so now that it's open, let's look for that font. I'm going to just type. Uh, 
and see how it looks in the infinite stroke font. Oh, there it goes. And basically that is how you download a font. But I'm going to, since we have this font, I'm going to go just a step further. If you notice, let me open it up a little bit. If you notice, right here where the E and the L and the L and the L and the L and the O overlap, see how these lines are cut through? If you try to cut this out on vinyl, Everywhere that line, that's going to be little small pieces and cut lines through there. And that will make for a messy, and uh, messy, like you're doing a t-shirt, it would not look professional at all. So what you would have to do with this font to print, you have to select it like it's selected. Basically to select it, you just click on it. And you need to come to this modify window. And you need to weld this. You have to group it afterwards, but as you can see, it is smooth. Let me type this again. We type hello again and put it in infinite stroke. Okay, just want to do a little demonstration right quick before I end this tutorial. Okay, so the top one is the welded one. See how smooth that is? This one is the not the one that's not welded. Let's fill both of these in. Let's see if black to show. Let's try some that's nuts. Okay, bam. Green shows better. See, if you have, if you want to put this on a shirt, you see how smooth it is in these areas as opposed to this. When you send this through the cutter, it's going to cut straight up here. They're going to cut that E all the way through here. You're going to cut that L and overlap over that E to make this a piece all in itself. Utilize this modify window in these different options to make sure your wording is smooth and as professional as possible. You don't have a headache trying to worry about if these pieces are going to fall off when you're trying to put it on the heat press. But that is it. Uh, that ends my tutorial on how to add fonts to your Silhouette Studio. I hope this helps anyone who's trying to add fonts. And that's basically it. Until next time, peace and have a blessed day. Thank you.